Hey guys, it's Brendan the Paleo Dude. I'm out fossil hunting in Princeton. So basically Eocene age rock. I think it's 52 to 48 million years old. Um, so the main purpose of this video, I got this tool here. It's this extendable like weed picker from Dollarama. It was four bucks. And it's actually really useful whenever hunting at sites in Princeton um, because if you're on a tall slope and want to grab some loose material from up top you can pull it down. It's good for flipping over rocks because a lot of the flat shale here has um, spiders and all sorts of bugs underneath and if you don't want to touch that this tool comes in handy for raking up any loose debris flipping it over. And uh, yeah, it's also great for if you're like, say, closer to a cliffside with some loose rock above you, which I wouldn't recommend um, hacking away at any loose cliffs, but if you were to do that, this is good for getting loose material down off of tall slopes with safety, of course, maybe wear like a helmet or something, <laughs> a hat at least. Um, and all this small loose stuff here, all facing one way, you can scrape it about and flip it all over. It definitely comes in handy there for finding some fresh stuff if you're in a place that's severely overlooked or overpicked. I mean, not overlooked, <laughs> they'd be actually looking hard um, getting it all. So yeah, no, this, this definitely comes in handy and I was using it all day today, actually finished hunting a while ago. and. I'm really tired, but I decided to come back up to show this thing off, and I'm glad I did because I'm finding a lot of crazy stuff up here. And I think I see a ripple mark rock. That's cool. There's a lot of meta sequoia. Um, I just got a rock sliver. Whoops. It's probably a good idea to wear gloves at sites like this. There's some um, conifer or something. Huh, okay. Yikes, it's like wherever you settle down, just like take a seat and just scour the shale and uh, things will start popping out. See, like that, it's like a little piece of wood. See if we can get an insect while we're at it. I know this video was meant to um, to show off the tool, but now I'm kind of invested because this side of the slope has some uh, some good stuff at it, and I'll use this handy dandy scraper thingy. It's good for climbing too, and it's extendable. You twist it, and it like extends. And I mean, I'm pretty light. If you apply some force to it after twisting it, it um, doesn't really give. Sometimes gives out, but it's good for like a little hiking staff or whatever to keep balance on the slippery slopes. Hmm. Finding anything. Oh, I guess I should advertise. Anyone who's still watching, I guess, um, if you live in the area, the there's a BCPA, British Columbia Paleontological Alliance Symposium coming up. And uh, if you Google that, the BCPA Symposium, just punch that into Google, um, you can actually sign up and come to field trips to sites like this, see when they are and uh, whatever. So that'd be really cool. If you guys want to come out hunting with me, that's a good opportunity. I'm, uh, I'm leading a field trip to this site, so um, yeah, feel free to join along. Um, I think there's like a, a fee, $30 fee. The society needs, um, needs the funds. So if you guys want to help out with that, feel free to um, sign up for the field trips. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, 
and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.